Yeah, I moved out here when I was 10 from Montgomery County, uh, Maryland. So I've been out here since I was 10, graduated and everything from here. So I guess I'm, I'm a Fredertonian. Hoochie. Confidence. Confidence, consistency, passion. I mean, <clears throat> I love what I do, you know what I mean? So, like, I don't wake up and, and dread the fact that I got to go to work at 8 o'clock or 8.30. I wake up saying, yo, who am I about to meet today? You know what I mean? So, like, the fact of me work, waking up and not dreading that, that that's, that's, I feel like I can do it for another 40 years. So, me wanting to be here and not dreading the fact, it, it's, it, that's what sets me apart. Good. Uh, it all started at my uh, at my parents' house 14 years ago, man. Cutting, cut my friends, cutting whoever that 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 I saw in my neighborhood. So it started in my parents' garage. Every time I'd leave the barbershop, I'd always think that I had something messed up in my haircut. So I'd go in my, my bathroom and I, I line myself up to where I liked it, or I, I adjusted the fade a little bit to what I liked it. And people would see me in school and be like, Chris, who did that? And I'd be like, I mean, the barber did it, but I changed it up right here. And they'd be like, for real, you could cut? And I'd be like, I guess so. And then from there, it just it went on. I cut my friends, and then from friends, I went to family, family, military, and then I got where I'm at now, man. Straight barber love out here, man. Oh, man, all Yo, day. Barbers united all day. Level, we never stop, never sleep. <laughs> man, these, these conventions is, is, is a way of life, I think, man. It's just, it's a lot of network in there. You see what's new coming out to products, to hairstyles, to to many things, man. So like, going up there, even if you're not competing, it's just a good experience from a barber because you might lose focus being in here every day and then going in to these conventions and seeing it from other people's point of view, it just, it sparks something, you know what I'm saying? So like, I'll leave that convention wanting to cut somebody that night, you know what I mean? So like, it just gives me more of a drive to go to them and, and now I'm, I'm finally getting showcased at this next uh, convention coming up. So it's just all, it's all working out, man. My day was beautiful, man. Just showcased for the lineup, Inc. They gave me a little trophy, man. You know what I mean? It set me up a little something, sights me. And you know what I'm saying? So. Name cold cuts, man. There's so many meanings in my head with the the whole cold cuts. Uh, just, just the whole fact of like coal is is in the mind. You know what I mean? So like, you put coal under pressure, make a diamond. So like, there you go. Like so so coal right there under pressure, make a diamond. So I'm always under pressure under these chairs. So right there, that's a diamond right there in the making. So I'm thinking, boom. You know what I mean? You get up, you got a cold cut. You got a diamond cut. You got I dug deep for this, you know what I mean? And it's it's one of a kind. So that's that's how I stuck with it and cold, you know what I mean? It's just another meaning for for, for fresh. So cold cut, fresh cuts, it's just so many meanings with it. So I just I just went with it and loved it. Being a barber, 
I love the feeling of, of people coming in and then they, they say they need you, like like they need like a, a police officer or, or, or a lawyer or something. They come in here and they be like, I need you, I need you to tighten me up, man, I got a hot date to go on. Or, or even I got a job interview or something. I like that feeling of somebody coming in and wanting me to get them right for that that event or that experience, whatever they gotta do in their life. And then they get up and they just be like, dang, Chris, for real, you got me like that? That's why I do what I do. I love the feeling of, of people being happy.